What was that first uh, job that you had out in, in the corporate world? And, and what was your mentality, mentality like starting out? Did you have goals set that you were eventually going to want to run big companies? Or what was your, your starting job in the corporate world? And what was, again, that mentality that you had back then? I, I, I've got a great story around the corporate world. And I'm sorry if my stories are too long. No, but they're great. These are great. Yeah, they're great. <laughs> yeah, they're great. Coming, I, just, I, I, I just I can't help but share some of these things. So my my first corporate job was an internship. I was I was at Columbia Business School. I get hired by Gulf Oil to go to Houston, Texas. I'd never been out of New England. I'm like, wow, man, this is awesome, Houston, Texas. I get down there and I'm like, I'm gonna show these guys that I am the best worker that ever showed up for the summer. And I start really busting my butt and I'm there at 7 a.m. and I'm leaving at 8 o'clock at night and that's a white collar job and I, I've got my, you know, I've got my tie on and everything and I'm working hard. Well, I get this guy that comes over and he's like, dude, you're working too hard. Well, what do you mean I'm working too hard? You're making us look bad. Stop that. You're just an intern. What the hell are you doing? Why are you working like that? You don't have to work. Go have fun. Go to the bars. I'm going, but, but I want to prove myself. You know, I want, to, I want to make this a career. And they're like, yeah, whatever. Just stop. So I'm going to take you back. That was a white-collar environment, right? I thought, no. Don't tell me that a white-collar world is like this. Because when I was trying to make money for college, I went to work at my dad's shop. So I'm, I'm in this factory, right, with a bunch of pretty tough factory workers. And they had this thing called piecework, where the more you made, the more you'd get paid. And I'm like, I'm making money for college. I'm gonna, boy, I'm gonna blow this thing out. So you know, I'm an athlete, I can do this, and I'm on this machine, and I'm making these blocks. You have to cut these big blocks into little blocks, and I'm, I'm making them as fast as I can. I'm like the, one of those guys on the Flintstones, you know, I'm cranking out these, these, uh, these products. And I'm all proud of myself and wow, look at how much I made in my paycheck. And I get visited by one of the guys who puts his arm around me and says, stop this, you're working too hard. And I'm going, no, I gotta work, I'm making money. It's like, you're screwing it up for the rest of us. I'm going, what, what do you mean? Well, the more I would make, the scale of expectation for everybody would go up. And so they were worried that I was gonna screw it up for the full-time people that were there to make their living. And there was a bit of an argument there, but man, what a depressing environment where you can't work as hard as you can and make as much as you can. So I was like, man, I'm glad I'm out of this, this tough factory world. Woo, I ended up getting in a fight over it, rolling down a flight of stairs. Yeah. Oh, it was bad, it was bad. I had no business getting in a fight with this dude. I mean, he was tough. And um, the, the, the foreman of the shop takes me aside and says, your dad was here for like 40 years, never got in any trouble. You're here for two weeks. You get in a fight. What's the matter with you? Yeah. And I start telling him all this stuff. Man, they want me to punch them out early. They leave at 2 a.m. or 2 p.m. and they want me to punch them out at 5. They're doing all this bad stuff. And I'm like singing like a canary and he's gone. That's the way it is. Yeah. Really frightening. But remember what I told you about the, blue co the white collar world? Here I was in a corporate environment. It was the same thing. Lesson, really important lesson here. There is conformity, whether it is in the shop or the corporate office. There is a pressure for conformity. You see it in the classroom. Who are you raising your hand? Don't raise your hand. A conformity will kill you as an individual. The crowd sometimes likes to push you down and not have you be an outlier. You as an individual need to fight that and get out there and do the best you can, work as hard as you can, block out the noise, and the results will come.